An innovator named Jannat Chavla has come up with an easy to use and comfortable glove which can assess the finger joint movements of human hand. People with joint ailments or any hand injury can measure their grip force and angular joint movement with this product. Constant innovations and creative solutions are changing the trends of the society and are making our life easier and better. Our Indian medical industry is constantly working on developing innovative solutions for the patients to experience and lead a better quality of life, enhanced recovery rate, making it faster than ever before. So in today's edition of Changemakers, we have with us one such innovator who has come up with an innovation in this physiotherapy sector. Let's hear it from the lady herself. Welcome, Jannat. Thank you, sir. Thank you for having me. Jannat, please introduce yourself and tell us briefly about your innovation. Hi, everybody. I am Jannat Chavla, born and brought up in the city beautiful Chandigarh. I did my undergraduation in computer science engineering from UIT Punjab University. I work as a research member at Design Innovation Center, and that's when this project started. So it nearly started as a project, and today, five years down the lane, I'm here sh sharing my entrepreneurial journey. So we've developed an easy to use handheld device that helps to measure and store goniometric data. It is an auto automation in the field of physiotherapy. Janet, what problem are you addressing through your innovation? Can you please elaborate that? So if we go back to the conventional methods and see people undergoing their rehabilitation journey who have suffered from hand injuries, be it accidents or joint pains, have to wait in long queues and go in person and visit a physiotherapist. The physiotherapist will then take readings of their angular movements joint by joint and finger by finger. This is a manual task and hence it's very cumbersome. It also consumes a lot of time and there can be manual efforts. We have automated this entire process. We've developed a glove which has sensors on it. So you just wear our glove, move your fingers and we have the readings in the app. The doctor can see how well you're progressing and then decide what's the next course of action for you. So uh, can you explain a little bit more how your product works? Right. So it's basically a glove which has sensors on it. You mm -hmm. won't be able to see the sensors. That's how we've created the look and feel of the product. Wear our glove, it has sensors. This, If you move your fingers, those sensors will take the readings. It's an IoT product. So everything moves onto the app. The doctor can go log in, search your name in his patient profile and see what are the readings he's getting for those. Mm -hmm. and then decide the next action or the next corrective plan that he wants to suggest you. Okay. That's how the product works. Great. Uh, what was your source of motivation for this innovation, Jannat? And what inspired you to do something like that? Right. So it, I have a very personal thing attached to it, if I say. My grandmother used to visit a physiotherapist and often I would take her to a physiotherapist. I observed there are long waiting lines, you know, for a phys uh, for patients waiting for the physiotherapist. So we had to wait for longer hours. It was not just not a very effective way to utilize time, but also very tiresome for the person who's waiting with the patient. And once you go in, that also had a very long procedure. They used to go finger by finger. So we thought, why not? And that's when we were also approached by Dr. Hassan, a physiotherapist in PGI, who came up with the same problem. And that's when, you know, we all sat down and brainstormed as to what could be a possible solution for this. And that's how the journey started for all of us. Yes, uh, it, it's a kind of very um, personalized problem you're trying to address. 
So uh, Jannat, can you tell me the challenges you have faced during this entrepreneurial journey and how you overcome those? Sure. So what started as just a mere project back in college to just solve a personal issue, we observed that this was actually an issue that most of the people faced who were visiting physiotherapists. Mm -hmm. So in order to solve this problem, we went out there to the physiotherapist, interacted with a lot of patients. But as we all know, in 2020, when COVID hit, that was the time where we, you know, had major issues. We couldn't go out there to the patients, test our product. So that was a challenge for a year or so that we faced. But having said that, we also used that time and opportunity to actually work on the fabric and other things, probably app, website. So it was a challenge initially, but then we converted in into a positive for ourselves and moved on from there. Recently, apart we have... From that, yeah. Apart from that, I think funding was also an issue initially. Mm -hmm. We would go out there, ask for funds, and people were like, what are you guys doing? So, you know, everybody wasn't really aware about, okay, we want to change the world. We want to bring that change. They really didn't put in confidence in some undergraduate people trying to change the world. But I think... Over the years, I've seen that shift and shift in mind and that bent has really occurred. You can start a change at a very early stage. And that's what I think is actually bringing India to the front. Truly said. And I think it's a very important point. Uh, Janat, recently we have seen so many innovation in physiotherapy sector. So how is your innovation unique from all the others uh, product available in the market? Right. So if I talk about the plus points of our innovation, so we only focus on hand. We not only provide you provide the readings of the angular movements, we also bring in grip, uh, grip joint, grip measurements also in our product. So you're sitting at your home. So no such product allows you the ease to sit at your home and give the readings to your doctor. So this is one in a kind of a product that we've developed that at your ease, you can sit at your home, wear the product, and all the readings will reach to the doctor. So you don't have to physically go to your doctor. In the near course of time, we're also planning that once we have a lot of data and testing that is done, the next course of action is also actually given by AI ML into your app only. So a doctor is just say, there to say, okay, yes, this is the right corrective action, but that action is actually given by the app itself. So that's how, you know, we are creating a differentiator in our product. Jannat, you are the proud winner of National Innovation Contest. Uh, can you please share your experience while participating in, uh, you know, NIC? Definitely, NIC has given us that platform wherein we could take a project and move it to an innovation level. So earlier, what whatever people used to say, okay, it's just a side project that you're carrying out in your college. But once we participated in NIC, they knew how how gra what gravity we bring, and you know we were very desperate for a change in the physiotherapy world. How we can automate things. So the entire journey has been very helpful in this process. They've, you've given us the support, the mentorship, the guidance. Apart from financial, financial help that we've received, I think the network that the NIC platform provides is commendable. Apart from the prize money, you, are, you have received support from the MIC, AICT, how this whole thing helped you in your entrepreneurial journey, uh, other than the getting the, getting the financial support, uh, Janat? Definitely. I think network matters a lot. So the immense network that this platform has provided us with is in itself very crucial for us. Mm -hmm. Being from college, we didn't have an access to a wider network, but during we have had exhibitions, we've had the NIC platform wherein we've met different entrepreneurs all together and have learned so much from there from them. You know, if they're making a certain mistake, they share it with us so that you know we're cautious enough not to make those mistakes. 
we wanted a doctor community so you've given us that community wherein we can go showcase our project showcase our innovation out there mm-hmm. and once we go out and tell them okay we've received funding from nic right so we've received funding they also they also have that confidence okay these these people are serious about their innovation so why not help them motivate them so all this has really helped in the support the network that we've reached out yes janatha it's a very important thing especially when you are at early stage of your entrepreneurial journey uh, yes. janatha how you are ensuring that your product is meeting all quality standards so i think we take in regular feedback so it's a feedback mechanism that we are following so we go test it out on real patients and have feedback forms filled out from them mm-hmm. not just feedback forms we have team members who sit who have sat during you know a couple of days across have interacted with the patients with the doctor okay how is the look and feel how are you feeling is it better will you wear it you know so a market fit also is necessary so that's how we have proved upon the look and feel so patients came back to us saying see you've put in a lot of sensors we don't want to wear such a product it should look like a gloves so that's what helped okay yes they right actually why not hide those sensors conceal them that's how we work on the look and feel of the product then the doctor came to us saying okay all this wiring don't you think it's too much for a patient they won't actually wear your product seeing all those electric wiring being done that's when we concealed that made it concise and concealed everything so it's a regular feedback mechanism that we are following with the patient with the doctor in terms of accuracy what we are doing is we take the readings with our product and also ask the doctor to take the readings manually so that we can see what is the deviation between the two and i'm happy that we've now achieved 96% accuracy with our product and slowly and steadily we want to achieve that 99% 100% accuracy going forward many medical products they are very expensive so how you are ensuring that your product will be a kind of cost effective and readily Uh, available to your end user see i understand because there is a lot of things that go into biomedical products and that makes it very expensive here but having said that we will keep our margins low we are not working for money here probably we are working for the betterment of the society and how we can bring about a change in the entire physiotherapy um, area out there and we also plan on you know so the sensors now that we are using are actually sourced from outside but we have but we have the capability to manufacture them in house that will also help us reduce the cost there also reaching out to the masses i think when we have that mass production in place that's when also the costs come down mm-hmm. so if you probably sell a 100 products and if you probably sell a 1000 product in the market you have a very different you can actually see a difference in cost out there so we're planning a large scale manufacturing unit from here and cutting down on costs wherever we can be it the sensors be it the fabric we are using in the product having said that we'll cut down on uh, our costs but we will not hamper the quality of our product so that is very important yes maintaining the same quality with the right price it's very important that you know you are not only maintaining the quality but you are also uh, making sure that you know that product is available easily to the end user and they can avail it they can purchase it uh, so janat you have received support from mic aict in terms of not only mentoring support but also financial support other than that have you received any support from other sources as well uh, maybe in terms of financial or otherwise I think during this journey we had invaluable support from our mentors back in college Dr Prashant Jindal and Dr Mamta Juneja have been very kind enough to provide their indispensable support during this journey right from the start be it participating in NIC or during various exhibitions or maybe going out there to test our product they have been there with us apart from this i think friends family 
my entire team has provided that support you know without them this journey wouldn't have been possible there were so many lows during the journey that if that motivation and support wasn't there i think i would have lost in the way here so that that support that i ha- i have has been i am very grateful to it so many youths are watching this session if you have to give one piece of advice to the youngsters who are thinking of starting their own venture what would that be i think back then i read this quote from bachendri paul which said the biggest risk in life is not to take risks and this has a very deep meaning so i would urge all the youngsters go out there take risks but make sure that calculative risks not just any or uh, risk calculative risks have confidence in yourself have that network around you who can support you build you fly you up higher rather than bringing you down have that team with you the right team helps a lot so just go out there be yourself and make us all proud so very inspiring so what plan do you have for the future of this business uh, jannat right so uh, we are actually planning to go and collaborate with other hospitals in and around the tri city as well mm-hmm. so currently we were in the testing phase we were involved with one doctor one hospital but we plan on to take on more hospitals more more clinicians more physiotherapists around our city itself then we also plan we have a manufacturing setup wherein we can actually manufacture 10 products in a month so we plan to scale that up and ramp that up as well so that we can reach out to the wider audience currently we're just focusing on hospitals and clinicians but i think 6 months 7 months down the lane we will also focus direct consumer as well wherein we will bring down cost to a level so that a consumer can, directly it can go out to the patients and the patients can also afford it so that you know we can mitigate them coming to the hospital standing in the in those long queues all together so that's the plan that we have for next 6 to 8 months janat do you have a vision for the betterment of our country through this innovation of yours definitely i think i entered and ventured into this medical sector because i had that in me that i want to do something for my country for the people for the society just there having an engineering degree i just wa- didn't want to go out into the corporate world having nothing done for the society with the capabilities that i bring in and hence we you know i ventured onto this path and i'm very happy when i see older people or people on the rehabilitation journey using my product it gives me a sense of inner satisfaction in a happiness that you know i can't put it into words but then it's just there janat uh, d- during our conversation you have mentioned uh, the story of your grandmother can you please share have you discussed about your innovation with her and what was her reaction yes definitely i think she was the first patient whom where we tested our product on so she was very happy you know i could see that glowing eyes the pride that she had when i showed her and you know now that nobody has to go with her to the hospital for her rehabilitation journey really helped her be on her own and how you know i being her granddaughter developed this taking inspiration from her so that was really good jannat how has your journey been as a women entrepreneur I think I've received a lot of support from other women entrepreneurs as well. So they're actually coming up supporting each other. It's not just taking your innovation. We as a community are building together wherein yes, we have our ups and downs, but having that support that peer group in place has really helped us go up and onwards from here. So yes. Thank you so much Jannat for joining today's session. Keep inspiring all of us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, innovation in physical therapy 
have resulted in improving quality and effectiveness of the practice and assisted the patient in accomplishing their goals more quickly. So, we will bring you more such game changing innovations in the next edition of Change Makers. Till then, keep innovating and make world a better place to live. On that positive note, I bid you goodbye. Thanks for watching. Namaskar.